Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can handle crowd operation in Mongo Atlas using Mongo's object. So in order to handle the crowd operation, we have to create Mongo's model. So you can see here, in this case we are going to create one user Mongo's model. So the user attributes, user id, mail, username and age. Here user id and mail is unique. So let's go to the code create one folder called model inside the model create one file called user so now I go to that google and search mongos npm the first link so in the previous video we saw like how we can connect with the mongodb using our node.js application but here this is the important thing is here right so mongos is a mongodb object modeling tool designed to work in a asynchronous so this is a very important thing so asynchronous means this will run in the separate thread so uh, you can see here mongo support both promises and callbacks right so if you go bottom you can see defining a model so this is a way we are we are going to defining a model but in this case i created one user model so you have these attributes right as i told before so i'm just going to i copy these two things and paste it here so constraint blog post right so in our case this is a user so what i'm going to do is i just copy and paste it here and change as user schema that's fine and second parameter right so user id so user underscore id so that's object id so this is unique for the every object second one is mail Both one name and age so age is a number I just give number you may guys have doubt like how I assign these strings numbers and object ID so just go to that documentation again and just click any of the link here so you can see here so just click the quick start so just click the schema types right so it will make sure that's like mongos.js.com so you can see now these are the data types right so we have to use like string numbers date buffer and boolean right so string and numbers right that's all so after that i'm going to documentation again mongos npm so if you read the documentation we have to give it like this i copy this one and paste it here and our model name is a user so that's schema right so our schema so i just rename it as user schema right i copy this one and paste it here so it's not necessary but the thing is we want to create the model as a schema so this my model i create the user right okay then I have to export this one. So in order to export, as I told before, module dot exports. Then this user, I copy this one and paste it here, right? So holds it very well. So now I am going to the user dot js. So here, so I just copy one of the request and paste it here. I remove this one I just keep the one slash here okay so I delete this one in order to access this user schema so I have to import here right so I just go here and const user equal req I require so you can see here model 
models folder so i just go to the model folder then the user we no need to mention the js javascript right so okay then i'm going to inside the post request so i just create one object const user and user underscore one so new this user right new user so here the first parameter you may know right the user id i just copy the user id here and paste it uh, this user id we have to create every time when the user send the new email id right so in order to create that user id first i'm going to import the mongoose const So I copy this one mongoose and paste it here mongoose types then object id as a function then you can see the second one is a mail so mail so we have to get the mail from the request right so this request request dot body dot mail so comma and the third one name request body dot name the final one is a h so h so i created user object successfully so in order to serve this user object in our mongo atlas database i want to call user underscore one between our user object then the serve method then we have to observe right so then the just call the result we have to observe the result then i just put a console lock console lock here Uh, just get the console up then I have to observe the error message also right so this error become error that's fine I copy this one paste it here then change as error right now everything is zettered successfully so I just cut this response so as I told before this is a asynchronous program right so we have to put inside that serve and I remove all the thing under the messages then I so insert then I copy this one again and paste under this log message and 500 is a server error so then the error message that's fine I give a space okay all set it very fine I guess uh, and I'm getting the error the what is the error I crashed so inside the model what is happening inside the model oh actually that i forget to import that mongoose right so i just go here i copy this one come under the mongoose model and paste it let's see server is running right now it's working so you can see here so whenever user send the post request with this parameter we will going to store the data into the mongoose atlas then we are returning that response right so i'm going to the postman the user okay that's a post request then the row 
the JSON, then I have to create a JSON object. So these are the parameters male, name, and age, right? So, so male abc at g.com name it's my name here and h h is 25 i guess i think 26 right 2021 right so i just going to send the request see this is our response and this is my mail this is my name and this is the age right so our post request working very well i don't want to keep two ids here so what i'm going to do is like you can see this is the object id so i like to keep the object id uh, and i remove this user id uh, you can see here the object id start with underscore id so i just want i only want to remove that user so i remove the user so underscore id is exit so i just come here and keep i delete this one so so if i send the request we will not able to see one of the id here right that's called user id we remove it so we just sent now so you can see that's fine right so here i deleted the user underscore id the thing is one unique id enough to identify the object so just go to the mongodb so you can see here we have to choose the browse collection so this is the place all our data are stored here so but uh, in previously i mentioned the mail is unique you can see the mail is not a unique thing so we have to write a logic for keep the unique mail so i just go to that code so we have to find the user it's already exists in the database or not right so in order to find the user so you can see there are one function called so just go to that uh, mongoose and control f and search find right find i already searched you can see here uh, this is a method we have to use to find the mail id right so i just come here and just type user user is uh, this user i mean our model and find so here we have to the reference is a mail so i just go here and type mail and request body dot mail that's fine then we have to execute catch then it's a result then the error message so you can see here if we find any user so we have to check is the user already exists or not right so I'm writing the condition if the result dot length so it's a uh, you guys know right this is uh, the store in the array format right so length so which means our result dot length which mean if we find any user like mean if we find any user with this mail we have to say user already exists right so just put response status here status code is 422 or else we have to store in our database right so in order to store so as we did before i just copy these things sorry for that i got it put inside that so the overall this concept is simple right 
So whenever the user send the request to these routes, then we have to check the mail in our database, right? Our Mongoose database. So after we get the results, which means our result is get greater than one, we are saying like, so user already exit, right? So all user is already there in our database, right? So or else we have to store, right? So as uh, as we did before, so creating one user constraint. So inside uh, creating one user object and put all the information uh, which is coming from the request then as usual uh, user serve then we return the response right so that's all right so so i'm trying to send one response here so i'm going to return the server error right json then the object message so i just give the error so that's all So everything fine so now i'm going to the postman so you can see here our mail is exit right which means we already have the mail in our database so i just going to here and so i delete that b and send again you can see here it's working perfect right so that's all so we successfully finish our create operation so this is my youtube channel guys if you like the video hit the like button and comment it and subscribe the channel and thank you so much